Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the DirectX Diagnostic Tool and how you access that is by going Start, Run and you need to type in the run bar there DXDIAG. Click on OK and this will open up the actual Diagnostic Tool. So in from, from in here you can actually got a few tabs at the top there. We're going to go through these quickly and have a quick look. Okay, So obviously we've got um, the name of the computer the operating system that we're running we've also got system information and the motherboard there P5K and you can see the BIOS version okay and um, you've got the actual processor memory page file and the actual DirectX version that you are running okay so if you get a problem you can actually know what version you're running also once you look inside the DirectX files you look inside here and you can actually see all the files that it's using and it will give you no problems found on the bottom but if there was a blue screen say for instance you get a blue screen with this file here you'd know it's something to do with direct text and you could come in here and have a look and find out what's going on do a few tests we'll get to the tests uh, in a minute um, but obviously these are the actual files as you can see there's quite a few there and uh, DNL files and whatnot okay so obviously display would be the actual graphics card itself it gives you the, the graphics card name ATI Radeon AD 4800 series and uh, gives you the chips, chip type and also the DAC type and also it gives you the memory and the resolution size of your screen what you're running at and the main driver obviously and the version so it's got some useful information there you can also run some tests from this area you can actually run a direct uh, direct draw test if I just click yes like so this will do a few tests on the screen I'm not sure if it's going to capture these but I'll run them anyway hopefully the video capture screen will capture them and what it's doing basically is it's saying did you see a bouncy white box and then uh, it'll finish its sequence it's not it's only about two or three uh, different sequences and that's it it just asks you simple questions did you see what what it's doing and if there was a problem you probably wouldn't see it now obviously as you can see here all all tests were successful so we'll quickly do the actual 3d version now I've had a problem with this before where I've just seen a black box spinning around and I haven't seen the actual color decks on it now that means obviously there was a problem with the direct text so it's good for that sort of diagnosing really in a sense it's very basic and simple I think looking at that gives you a quick quick look we'll just let these tests quickly go there's only three of them so once that's completed it should tell us whether the test was successful and obviously we say yes there and it will say all tests were successful okay so now you need to go on to the sound card and the sound card as you can see it's a creative uh, sound card sound blaster and then you've got a uh, test dot I'm not going to do the test on this one and also you've got the sound card which is for the onboard sound as well which is Realtek HD audio we've got the actual and that gives you all the information as well there as you can see date and everything else that you need Okay, and then you've also got music which is to do with the sound card obviously you can do some tests there if you wanted to and uh, input which is the mouse keyboard and whatnot okay and uh, also network and more info okay so if you wanted to you could actually save this information to your desktop or wherever you want to save it so you could actually could save all information like so click save and it will put up on the desktop there so once I open this up, as you can see, it's given us all the information that we need in a handy notepad document. And it will give you all the display information. Okay. It's, it's got a few, it's got quite a lot of information there, and it's going to come in pretty handy when you're diagnosing problems. Okay. Anyway, I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and show your support. And also, if you've got any questions there, stick a message up and I'll uh, do my best to answer it for you. Any requests for videos, 
by means send us a message and I'll try and make that video for you okay thanks again for your support thanks again for watching bye for now